Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Unity Endless Runner series. This is Sorcerer Studios, and in the last episode, we learned how to have Ethan dodge obstacles. Now, as you may have remembered, his movements were a bit quirky, and they didn't really work very well. So, let's go back to what we did, and let's remember the problems that we had. So, let's hit play. Okay, so the first problem was that when you made him go to left or right, he would wobble around a bit. And if you made him go too much, he would just tumble off and go into the abyss. And that is also the case when you just keep pressing the A or the D button. He just flies off into space. Same thing for the space bar. And we do not want that. So there are two goals to finish up the movement of Ethan for this tutorial. And those two goals are to make it so that he doesn't topple over, and so that you can only make him jump once after he leaves the ground. So without further ado, let's begin. One more thing, if you like this content, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. It really helps us out and we are determined to help you become a master of unity. Okay, so let's begin. So, what we want to do is edit our player movement script. And let's go into Mono Develop and edit that. Okay, so we are in Mono Develop. So, what we want to do first is make it so that Ethan does not topple over. So, in Void Update, we have to make it so that his rotation is always 0, 0, 0, so that he doesn't topple over. So what we're going to do is type in one line of code. We're going to type transform dot local, let's see, local Euler angles equals new vector three. This is where we do the x, y, and z axis. And um, actually, it would be 0, 90, 0, because that's his current upright rotation. So let's save that and see what happens. Okay, so we are back in Unity, and let's see what happens. All right, <laughs> so things are looking better already. He is not toppling over, but there's still a problem. And that problem is, is that he can still fly up infinitely. Now that's good if you want him to have a magic carpet, but we don't want him to have a magic carpet. We want him to have a surfboard. And since he doesn't topple over, let's make the surfboard a bit thinner because he is no longer in danger of toppling over. So let's just make sure that this works. All right, so he is never going to topple over again. Okay, and he runs into some obstacles and he still doesn't topple over. Okay, so let's go back into Mono Develop and make it so that he can only jump once. Okay, so we are back in Mono Develop. So what we want to do is change Void Update to something else. Because Void Update pretty much runs it every frame without any conditions. But we have to put a condition on this. So what we want to do for Void Update is take the key codes out and put them into something else. So let's do that. First, Let's get rid of void update. Well, let's do cut and paste. So we are going to do cut and then paste it down here so that only these two lines of code are in void update because those two lines have to be there. So what we want to do now is type void on collision stay. And basically, every object has a collider and what those colliders do is they detect if they run into another collider. So what we want to do is detect if Ethan is on a collider. So if he's on the ground, because the ground is the only thing that he can be on right now. So, whoops, let's put another bracket there. There we go. So things are good now. So this only detects if Ethan is on the ground. And if it's on the ground, then it will let him jump. So that's pretty much all we have to do. Well, first, let's take void update and put it above void on collision stay. Because 
because we'll probably be using void update probably more. So let's save this and see what happens. All right, so let's hit play and see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to continuously press the D button. All right, and it seems to work. So Ethan only, well, oh yes, the spacebar makes him jump a bit higher. But currently, he can only jump when he hits the ground, and that is what we want. So let's have some fun. Let's place a few obstacles down and see if we can avoid all of them. Alright. Okay, let's see if we can do this. And... Huh! <laughs> oh no! Uh, well, technically works. Oh right, I forgot we can jump. Okay, let's make him jump. Okay. Let's see if we could leap over this. Uh, well, it kind of worked, sort of. Okay, but nevertheless, the ability for Ethan to dodge obstacles is complete. We might, we might edit the velocity for his moving side to side a bit so that we can accommodate him dodging obstacles but for now his initial movement is complete so thank you very much for watching this tutorial next tutorial we're going to get into some very interesting stuff so be sure to subscribe for weekly updates on what is going on with this tutorial and i will see you in the next video bye